Chris Chase 5. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? It's CIA or Chris here. And today's video consists of my major three bracket prediction. This is the last set of games of the first half of the 2021 CDL season. All right, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup here, we have the Los Angeles Gorillas versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of LAG. Both of these teams have been struggling a lot recently. They had a combined zero wins during the Dallas home series. Both of these teams also made roster changes a bit ago. Surge's was more recent though. Surge last week only took a total of two maps while LAG took four. LAG also faced overall tougher opponents last week if you ask me. I do not think Surge will be able to regain enough here to secure three whole maps as they haven't even taken two on anyone with their new roster yet. Sorry, Octane, my guy, but I will have to have you guys exiting losers round one. I'm sorry, Seattle, Octane. I'll pour it out for you, my guy. And for the next matchup here, we have the London Royal Ravens versus the Paris Legion. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the London Royal Ravens. London will be coming into this match on a high note. They were able to secure a big win last week during the Dallas home series against Seattle. Paris, in contrast, has been in a slump. They have only won one series all of stage three, and it was not last week. Due to London having the momentum and Paris continued struggles throughout the stage, I expect London to have a convincing victory here. These two are also currently separated by only one spot in the standings, with London being 11th and Paris being 10th. I think this will ignite a fire in London and help propel them to a win. And for the next matchup here, moving to winner's round one, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Dallas Empire. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. Dallas, in my opinion, has not looked as good since acquiring Fellow. They were 3-0'd by Florida last week. FaZe has been slacking a bit recently. They've been winning the majority of their matchups, but not in a very convincing fashion. And they also lost to NYSL right after they made a roster change. They also did not win Major 2. Since this is the case, I expect them to be very motivated and focused here. Although I believe the maps may be close, I don't think FaZe will have any issues securing the win here. And for the next matchup here, we have the Florida Mutineers versus the LA Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. The Thieves did not look the greatest last week with Hugh. They lost 3-1 to NYSL and made lots of mistakes during that series. I expect them to look much better this upcoming weekend. Florida, on the other hand, has looked solid recently. They went undefeated during the Dallas home series last week. I honestly think this match will be very close. I expect the Thieves to be much more on point, but I still think Florida is a very talented team. I expect a close competitive series and believe all the maps will be close. I expect the Thieves to just barely edge it out though, as that roster is just absolutely nasty with Hugh. I think he will play a big role in propelling them to victory in this one and will help them to come out on top. And for the next matchup here in Elam Round 2, we have Optic Chicago versus the LA Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. Optic has been having some troubles as of late. They've taken a total of two maps over the past two weeks and won zero matchups. LAG in contrast over that time has looked better. They've taken six maps. Neither of these teams have looked great recently though to be honest. LAG was not able to secure a series last Last week even with all their map wins. Optic is a very talented team so this is an extremely hard call for me to make. I just don't think they've looked consistent enough to pull out a W. Them even taking a map here I have based on LAG making mistakes and Optic simply just displaying their raw talent. And for the next matchup here we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Minnesota will be coming into this matchup on a loss while London will be coming in on a win. As of late Minnesota has not looked as solid to me while it has seemed like London has been on the come up. Because of this I expect the series to be close but I feel Minnesota just displays more talent than London, so I'll have to call it 3-2 in favor of them. And for the next matchup here, moving on to winner's round two, we have the Toronto Ultra versus Atlanta FaZe. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Ultra has yet to drop a series all stage. This means that they will also be coming into this major undefeated. FaZe will be coming into this matchup after beating Dallas in the one prior. Dallas is the weakest looking of the winner's round one teams right now in this bracket if you ask me. With the Ultra being so on point and FaZe facing a much harder opponent in my opinion this round, I do not think they'll be able to take two. I do think they'll be good enough to take one though, on the basis of some small ultra mistakes and FaZe still being such a talented team. And for the next matchup here, we have the New York Subliners versus the LA Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. During the Dallas home series, these teams matched up and NYSL won 3-1. The Thieves made lots of mistakes during that series though and looked rather sloppy. It was very obvious they hadn't had enough practice together yet and weren't all on the same page. Even under those circumstances, it still looked like the Thieves could have pulled it out. All the maps other than map 1 were close and they practically threw map 2 away. Because of this, I expect the Thieves to bounce back and secure a win here. But NYSL is still a very talented team, so I expect it to be close. I expect both teams to be pushing each other's buttons and think this will be a pretty intense and fun series to watch. And for the next matchup here, moving on to Elam Round 3, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. This is my big upset pick in my opinion. I think the Gorillas could be the dark horse during this major. And as stated before, I do not think the Empire has looked as good since acquiring Fellow. Both of these teams made roster changes 
changes during the stage, but it appears to me that LEG has been more so on an upward trend than Empire as of late. LEG also went out losers round one of the last majors, so I expect them to make a lot more noise here. And for the next matchup here, we have the Florida Mutineers versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. The last time these two teams matched up, it was during the London Home Series, and Florida won 3-1. Florida has looked solid recently. As stated before, they went undefeated last week. I also feel that they have a super talented roster. Minnesota, in contrast, recently has been in a bit of a slump. They only have won one out of their last three series, and even that was in five maps. However, they were also the only team to take a map on the Ultra the entire stage. This shows that they are still super talented, and I expect them to have a better showing here at the Major. I expect a close series, but I do think the Mutineers will end up on top in a map five. And for the next matchup here, moving on to Elam round four, we have the New York Subliners versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of the New York Subliners. And YSL coming into this matchup will have most recently lost to the Thieves, meaning they will be looking to bounce back with the win here. I also think NYSL is the more talented team. Before their matchup versus LA Thieves during the Major, they were undefeated this stage. They also have Clay, who obviously won a ring last year, and Hydra has just looked absolutely insane. LAG I do think will be able to take one, however, but I believe it will be on the basis of NYSL making mistakes. And for the next matchup here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe has been consistently a top team all season. Although they haven't been perfect, they are still first in the standings. They also had the harder matchups out of these two teams during the stage, in my opinion. They had to face Optic, LA Thieves, and Subliners. Even with Optic underperforming recently on paper, this pool is much harder, in my opinion. But, as stated before, Florida has looked much more solid, in my opinion, recently. Ever since they acquired Havoc, they seem to be performing better. I think they are overall a good team and expect them to give FaZe a run for their money. Skies, Awakening, and Neptune are all some phenomenal players, in my opinion. I honestly was surprised with how bad this team performed before their roster change. I expect it to be a close competitive series, but for FaZe to just barely be able to secure it on the map 5. And for the next matchup here, moving on to the winner's final, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the LA Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Ultra coming into this matchup will still be undefeated during this stage. They also will still have not dropped more than a map versus anyone they face. The Thieves coming into this will still be a relatively new roster. Because of this, their teamwork might not be perfect. The Ultra in contrast have been playing great as a team. They seem very much so all on the same page and it's hard to really pinpoint one player as to the reason they are winning. Also, the majority of teams were unable to take any maps on the Ultra during the stage. I think the Thieves with Hugh, however, will be able to take one. And for the next matchup here, moving on to Elam Round 5, we have the New York Subliners versus Atlanta FaZe. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of NYSL. Both of these teams have been solid. They have both displayed consistency and have established themselves as top teams. As stated before, prior to losing to the Thieves during this major, the Subliners were undefeated. I think this will ignite a fire in them and will be a major source of motivation for them here. FaZe, as of late, hasn't looked as dominant as they did early on in the season. They're still great, but it seems like other teams are finally starting to catch up. I expect the series to still be close as FaZe is still a very talented team, but expect NYSL to just barely be able to edge them out in the map 5. I think Clay will have them all fired up and it will propel them to victory. NYSL is also yet to win a major, giving them even more of a reason to want to focus up for this one. And for the next matchup here, moving on to the Elam final, we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of the LA Thieves. The Thieves will be coming into this matchup after most recently losing to the Ultra. This will also be their first matchup of the day. I think that because of this, they will be super fired up and focused here. This will be NYSL's second matchup of the day, as they will have beat FaZe in their one prior. Because of this, I think they will be more fatigued than the Thieves. FaZe is a good team, and I have no doubt they will tire them out a bit. I do think Subliners will give the Thieves a run for their money, though. As stated before, they have yet to win a major. Neither have the Thieves, though, including Huke. Dallas didn't win a major when he was on their team this season. Because of this, I expect another super close competitive series to take place between these two teams, and for the Thieves to just barely be able to edge it out. All of the maps will be close, but I think that the lack of stamina on the Subliners will show a bit, making them unable to push the series to a map 5. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, in the major final here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 5-4 to four in favor of the LA Thieves. As stated before, nobody on this team has won a major yet this year. I think this will make them all very focused on trying to secure the win here. This will also be the Thieves' first time in a grand finals. I think that these factors will make them all super fired up here and provide them extra motivation. I do think the Ultra will give Thieves a run for their money though. Up until this point, I have them going undefeated during this major. They also, as stated before, went undefeated the entire stage up until now. This is why I'm awarding them four maps. Also, the last time these two teams matched up, the Thieves lost. I think this will provide them extra motivation here and help propel them to a win.
And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Seattle Surge. In 11th, the Paris Legion. In 10th, Optic Chicago. In 9th, the Dallas Empire. In 8th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 7th, the London Royal Ravens. In 6th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 5th, the Florida Mutineers. In 4th, Atlanta Fays. In 3rd, the LA Thieves. In 2nd, the New York Subliners. And in 1st, the Toronto Ultra. Alright guys, but that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited for the games this weekend and I can't wait to see who wins up the champs of this major. I'll also be hosting watch parties for the games on my Twitch all weekend long, so make sure to stop by to see my live reaction to them. Twitch.tv slash UATA. Alright, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been TIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.